We're asked to determine the limits using L'Hopital's rule. First, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the quantity 3 e to the x minus 3 divided by sine 5x. Let's begin by checking the form of the limit by performing direct substitution. If we perform direct substitution, we have 3 e to the 0 minus 3 divided by sine of 5 times 0. Simplifying, e to the 0 is 1. The numerator is 3 minus 3 or 0. And the denominator is sine 0, which is 0. We have the indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0. And therefore, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to determine this limit. Before we do, though, let's review L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule, also called Bernoulli's rule, uses derivative to evaluate limits involving indeterminate forms. So if we have a limit and more of the indeterminate forms listed here, then we can apply L'Hopital's rule, which states the limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x equals the limit as x approaches c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. I also want to mention, if we have one of these other indeterminate forms, we can often change the form of the function so it fits one of the indeterminate forms where we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So going back to our example, again, because we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero, the given limit is equal to the limit as x approaches zero of the derivative of three e to the x minus three divided by the derivative of sine five x. Well, the derivative of three e to the x minus three is three e to the x. And the derivative of sine 5x, which requires a chain rule, is equal to cosine 5x times 5, or 5 cosine 5x. If we perform direct substitution now, we no longer have an indeterminate form. Performing direct substitution gives us 3 e to the 0 divided by 5 cosine of 5 times 0. e to the 0 is 1, giving us a numerator of 3 and cosine zero is one, five times one is five, the limit is equal to three-fifths. And we'll check this graphically in just a moment. Looking at our second example, let's first check the form by performing direct substitution. If we let x equal zero, we have the sine of seven times zero divided by the sine of two times zero, and the sine of zero is zero, giving us an indeterminate form, again, of zero divided by zero, and therefore, we can apply L'Hopital's rule to determine the limit. The given limit is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of sine 7x divided by the derivative of sine 2x. And the derivative of sine 7x is equal to cosine 7x times 7, or 7 cosine 7x. And the derivative of sine 2x is equal to cosine 2x times 2, or 2 cosine 2x. Since cosine is defined at x equals 0, we can evaluate this limit by performing direct substitution. This gives us 7 times the cosine of 7 times 0, divided by 2 cosine of 2 times 0. Notice we have cosine 0, which is equal to 1 in the numerator and denominator and therefore this simplifies nicely to seven halves. Let's go and check both of these graphically. So for the first limit, I graph the original function f of x equals three e to the x minus three divided by sine five x. And from the graph, notice as we approach x equals zero from the right and from the left, we can see we are approaching the y value or function value of 0 0.6, which is equal to three fifths. And then on the right, we have the graph of the function f of x equals sine 7x divided by sine 2x. And once again, notice as we approach x equals 0 from both sides, meaning the right and the left, we are approaching the y value or function value of 3.5, or 7 halves. Both graphs verify our limits are correct. I hope you found this helpful.